In this video, we're going to take a look at the setup and configuration of the Precis windowing processor. The setup I'm using for this example has two PCs with standard desktops, a Samsung phone running in DeX mode, and a PC showing some video content. The output of the windowing processor is then connected to a UVC1 4K HDMI capture unit, and I'll be showing a mixture of the setup screens and also the output of the windowing processor itself. What you're seeing on the window at the moment is the output of the windowing processor. As you can see, it's currently running with one input full screen and the other three inputs as picture-in-picture -picture format at the bottom of the display. This is one of the three standard presets included on the unit. As well as this picture-in-picture -picture format, there's also two four-way split screens. The first has a single large image with the other three stacked on the side, and there's also a traditional 2x2 format where all the sources are the same size. These three standard window presets can also be selected from the video mode button on the front of the unit. So let's take a look at the web interface we use to set up the system. The default login password is admin, but obviously you're going to need to change this to something else once the system's been fully commissioned. There's some standard configuration that needs to be done, such as network settings, but we're going to concentrate on the switcher and windowing configuration in this section. In the windowing tab, it's very easy to select any of the presets, although obviously once you've set the system up, you'd normally be doing this from the API. If we toggle through some of the presets, you see that the changes to the output format is very quick. As you can see, whatever I have selected on the web interface is exactly what you see on the windowing processor output. On the settings page, we can select each window individually and precisely set the XY coordinates the height and width as well as the priority that controls the order that the windows appear. We can switch off any windows that aren't in use and we can also select a fixed aspect ratio. There's the option to mirror the input and as you can see the top left hand image is now mirrored and we can also add a border to the window and you can even change the colour of the border. There's also a window reset button that can be very useful if you need to undo any of the changes that you've made. And finally, we can change the input that's been displayed in that specific window. And these same functions can then be set up for each of the four windows. At the bottom of this setup page, we have the output settings. When the system's in windowing mode, both of these outputs are mirrored, so we have the same image on both outputs and the same settings for each output on the web interface. In this particular setup, the system's set to give me a HD resolution for the recording I'm making, but I could, of course, set the system up to output and then to capture 4K. As well as using the standard presets, I can create some of my own. So I'm going to put together a couple of examples using just two of the inputs. As I'm only using the first two inputs, I'll switch off Windows 3 and 4 as they won't form part of these presets. The first preset I'm going to create is two sources side by side. So all I need to do is to drag each window into position. I could, of course, change the X and Y coordinates to make the presets more accurate, but for this example, I'm just going to drag them into roughly the right position. I can now name the preset I've created. I'm going to call this one Side by Side, and then save it into an empty slot. In this case, it'll be slot 1. The next layout we're going to create is a picture-in-picture, -picture, so we'll make the second window much smaller and position this down at the bottom right-hand corner of the display. Next, we'll take the first window and make it full screen. Now, you'll notice that the second window sits over the top of the first window. This is because that, that window has the highest priority in the window layout. So we'll save this one as preset number two. I can create eight custom presets altogether, and these can be any layout you need them to be. And don't forget that although I've just dragged the windows into position, this can also be done quite accurately using the XY coordinates, the height and width, and also the fixed aspect ratio. Once the presets are finished, I can switch between them in the same way as the three standard presets I showed earlier. As well as using the web interface, all the presets can be selected using the API, so they can be switched from a control system along with any other functions of the windowing processor. It's also important to note that when you're not using the window and functionality, you can still use the system as a standard 4x2 switcher. For more information on the Precis window and processor, along with any of the other products in the Precis range, go to www.amx.com. 